Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to Meet the Buyer North 2023 here at the Music Hall in Aberdeen. Now, as you can see, I can't be with you because I'm in Parliament and I do offer you my apologies for that. But I did want to send this message to help you start the day. And firstly, let me say how valuable I find these events. They provide an excellent opportunity for local businesses and the public sector to come together. And for all of us, they help to break down perceived barriers, increase understanding and in turn help us be mutually supportive. And at the end of the day, I'm sure you'll all go away having learnt about the potential opportunities for your businesses and across the public sector. Now, it's been a tough few years and with Covid and Brexit and high inflation having all created their own challenges for you as businesses and, of course, for the country as a whole. Yet through these times, we've clearly shown that the public sector and yourselves, our suppliers, can work together. And if we continue to do so going forward, working openly and with collaboration, we can uh, and will build a stronger Scotland. And to support that ambition, we are providing businesses with much needed support. As of March of this year, we'd allocated almost £3 billion towards measures designed to help mitigate the cost of living crisis on households and businesses. Looking further forward in our national strategy for economic transformation, we have planned a 10-year programme to aid the creation of a well-being economy. In the next decade, we face a choice to either lead or lag behind other successful economies, and we've chosen to lead. This is coupled with our infrastructure investment plan and our capital spending review, which has been in place since 2021 and looks out to 2026. This will see an anticipated investment of £33 billion into our economy, and at the same time, supporting up to 45,000 jobs across the country. That's investment in our healthcare facilities, schools and local amenities across Scotland. And for here in the North East, that means, to give a few examples, investment in the Aberdeen City Region deal, investment in schools and healthcare facilities across the region, the Low Carbon Fund that's funding for Forestry and Land Scotland, support to businesses in the energy sectors as they grow and diversify through our energy transition, and the funding that comes with that, of course, or improvements in the Aberdeen to Central Belt rail connections, and the building of the Dundee Community Custody Unit, which opened last year. Just some of the examples, and there's other similar investments happening across the Highlands and Islands, and indeed the whole of Scotland as well. And as announced in April this year, the First Minister's policy prospectus sets out plans to agree a new deal for Scottish business. All of these help us pursue economic growth, which in turn broadens opportunities and promotes a skilled workforce and streamlines the transition to a well-being economy. We know the right approach can and does make a real difference to businesses and communities and, of course, the people of Scotland. In the financial year up to 2021, the local authorities here in the north of Scotland spent over a billion pounds through public sector procurement. And yes, contracts are being won by small and medium-sized businesses, which in turn is creating jobs and benefits for local communities. For every pound we spend here in Scotland, 51 pence is with SMEs, something I'm delighted to see, and I'm sure you are as well. And when we talk about community benefits, well, we're seeing these become a standard requirement in more contracts across the public sector. They are now included in almost two thirds, 65.3% to be precise, of regulated contracts. And soon we'll be sharing the results of our consultation on community wealth building. This gathered views on how we can maximise community and business benefits through procurement and commissioning with a view to how we can further develop good enterprises and fair work and shorter supply chains. So this is about procurement doing the right thing. 
Our vision is also for Scotland to be one of the most innovative small nations in the world. We want to be a world-class nation of entrepreneurs, where businesses can flourish, where the public services grow, and where we can make the most of digital technology to move us forward at pace. Innovation can also generate greater opportunities for entrepreneurs, and it can be transformative in the delivery of public services. To help facilitate this in procurement, we have made improvements to our public contracts and the Public Contracts Scotland portal, where buyers can now better engage the marketplace and to encourage better engagement with SMEs. Last October, we also launched Scotland Innovates, which is an, an online portal where suppliers like yourselves can submit ideas to the public sector. Please check it out. And since its launch, it has received over 80 submissions across a wide variety of activities, including priority areas, such as the fuel crisis, the circular economy, and health and social care. And it really has huge potential, and I'm looking forward to seeing it continue to grow and the results that it will bring in the future. So public contracts are about more than just value for money. We believe value is best measured by the impact contracts have in benefiting local communities, local economies, and throughout the country as well. Working with the public sector is an area where businesses can thrive. Ultimately, we want to see public procurement in Scotland be good for business and their employees, good for society and good for places and communities, and open and connected. This is the ambition which drives us forward. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for taking the time to come along today taking the time to learn new skills and to seek out training and, and business opportunities. And I, I hope that will lead to new avenues opening for you all as well. Thank you so much for your contribution to the Scottish economy and good luck today, good business and good connections. Thank you.